look up at us. Lockheed Martin is the primary contractor for NASA's Orion multi-purpose crew vehicle. The goal of the Orion project is to transport humans to interplanetary destinations beyond low Earth orbit, such as the Moon and eventually Mars, and then return them safely back to Earth. Obviously, with a mission such as this, there's not much room for error. Currently, I am interning with Lockheed at Kennedy Space Center, where we're building the different parts of the Orion spacecraft. As, as construction progresses, it's essential that we use various methods of non-destructive testing in order to ensure quality and prevent potentially catastrophic failures. In this presentation, we will look at a few of the basic non-destructive testing methods. First, we'll define non-destructive testing, which, according to the American Society of Non-Destructive Testing, is the process of inspecting, testing, or evaluating materials, components, or assemblies for discontinuities or differences in characteristics without destroying the serviceability of the system. So essentially, they're saying that you can still use the part after it's been tested. The three most common methods of non-destructive testing are visual inspection, liquid penetrant, and magnetic particle testing. Visual inspection is the most widely used in manufacturing today, and it's also the first step in any other method of non-destructive testing. Visual inspection is the examination by eye of products or items to evaluate their conformance to specifications, codes, or any other requirements. Visual inspection may include taking measurements, checking cleanliness, verifying the shape and size of the part, and inspecting surfaces for damage. The advantages of visual inspection are that it is very simple and easy for pretty much anyone to do, as well as being relatively inexpensive. The main disadvantage is that this method is limited to only what the eye can see. Using optical tools such as magnifying glasses or additional lighting is helpful, however even with the standards in place, visual inspection is somewhat subjective to each individual inspector. Liquid penetrant, which is also known as dye penetrant, is performed by applying a fluorescent or brightly colored liquid to the entire surface of the workpiece. You can do this by dipping, spraying, or brushing it on. The liquid is given time to seep into any cracks or small voids open to the surface. This is called capillary action. Excess penetrant is removed and the piece is coated with a thin layer of developer to draw the dye back to the surface. Now tiny flaws are much more visible. After inspection, the developer and residual dye are removed and the piece is clean. Some advantages of liquid penetrant are that it's simple, inexpensive, versatile, it's very portable, the results are easily interpreted, and you can put it on you can use it on pretty much any shape object. It's limited, however, to the detection of flaws which are exposed to the surface, and it can be used on hot products. Interestingly, a similar method to LPI was using, but using flour and oil, is said to have been used by the Romans to detect cracks in marble stone. Magnetic particle testing is the third and final method of NDT, which we will cover today. The, this method requires a magnetic field to be induced into the actual part. This is usually established by way of a permanent magnet or electromagnetic yield. Magnetic particles are then dusted onto the surface. Any defect which is perpendicular to, this, to the magnetic field will significantly alter it. And since the particles have essentially made this field visible, the flaws can be easily identified. The main drawback to magnetical, magnetic particle testing is of course that it does not apply to non-ferrous materials. However, it is one of the easiest methods to use and allows for detection of both surface and near subsurface imperfections. Magnetic particle inspection is often used not only in manufacturing, but additionally in the maintenance of equipment and machinery. The testing equipment ranges from small, portable units to complex automated systems. Though their methods of choice are not as simple as the ones we briefly reviewed, non-destructive testing is used extensively in the aerospace industry for quality control, diagnostics, and predictive testing. Visual inspection is sometimes sufficient by itself, but is also an essential part of any non-destructive test. Liquid penetrant is simple, versatile, and magnetic particle testing is useful in discovering subsurface flaws in ferrous materials. Because the parts and structures produced in the aerospace industry have lives quite literally depending on them, the quality of these products must be 
impeccable. An infinitesimal flaw in just one of the millions of precisely engineered pieces that make up a spacecraft can result in 